Who would you like to see Dylan White fight next? Deontay Wilder, Jarrell Miller, Dominic Brazil, Anthony Joshua or Derek Chisora? As you can see on screen, I conducted a poll a couple of hours ago. These are the results. Over 1.2 thousand people voted. And, well, there it is. Deontay Wilder overwhelmingly is the favorite favorite choice for Dylan White's next opponent, according to you guys. He got 70% of the vote. In second place, Jarrell Miller with 13%. In third place, Dominic Brazil, also with 13%, but slightly less than Miller in terms of actual vote numbers. And by far the least popular choices for Dylan White's next opponents are the rematch with Anthony Joshua and the rematch with Derek Chisora. Only 2% voting for Joshua, only 3% voting for Chisora. So there you have it. The people have spoken. You guys overwhelmingly would prefer... Dylan White to face Deontay Wilder above anybody else out there. However, there are quite a few people, because obviously most people who voted did not leave comments. But out of the people who did leave comments, there seemed to be a hell of a lot who want to see Dylan White face Dominic Brazil. Now, this is a fight which I like. This is a fight which was close to being made a while ago if you remember when Dylan White was was it the Joshua Takam undercard where he fought Hellenius he was trying to get Dominic Brazil to fight him on that undercard but apparently due to budget constraints and what have you they weren't able to secure the Brazil fight and interestingly enough Lucas Brown was also trying to fight Dominic Brazil recently rather than take on Dylan White. So Brazil's been in the mix for a while now. And as I say, certainly Dylan White was calling for the Brazil fight. He wanted the Brazil fight. It was looking close to happening on the Joshua Takam undercard, but it didn't go ahead. He fought Hellenius instead. So yeah, it's a fight which has been talked about for a while. It's a fight which at the time when it was looking like it could potentially happen on the Joshua undercard, there was a very positive response. Brazil was coming off a couple of wins over Izu Agono and Eric Molina. So he's got some momentum going at the moment. And Dominic Brazil always fights with a lot of heart. He's got punching power. He's a big guy. He gives value for money. And this is why people like the idea of seeing him fight Dylan White. Dylan White, a similar kind of guy, fights with a lot of heart, You know, always goes for it. So, yeah, it's definitely a fight I like. And last I checked, Dylan White and Dominic Brazil were number one and number two in the WBC heavyweight rankings. Neither one of them is mandatory yet. I suspect Eddie Hearn would probably like the WBC to make Dylan White mandatory without him having to fight a final eliminator against Dominic Brazil simply for the, the reason that he'd like to get Dylan White in with... Deontay Wilder ASAP because that helps build Wilder versus Joshua if he can fight if he can have Dylan White fight Wilder let's say in June Eddie Hearn I'm sure and most people are assuming that Dylan White's probably going to lose against Deontay Wilder but that would set up a Joshua fight if not in late 2018 maybe in early to mid 2019 I'm sure that Eddie Hearn is not afraid of putting Dylan White in with Dominic Brazil I think it's just a scheduling issue that he wants to try and coordinate things best for Anthony Joshua I think that's what it's all about (laughs) personally I don't think Eddie Hearn really likes Dylan White that's the perception I have of their relationship They're not really very close. I don't think Eddie Hearn really likes the guy. But as Eddie Hearn has said many times, I don't have to like you to do business with you. So I think Eddie Hearn's just thinking about the Anthony Joshua master plan and Dylan White is an inadvertent pawn in that plan. So I'm not saying he's not doing anything good for Dylan White at all. He is, 
But yeah, I, I, I suspect that he would prefer Dylan White to just get a straight crack at Deontay Wilder rather than having to go through Dominic Brazil. If he does have to go through Brazil, hey, it's good for us because that's going to be an, probably going to be an entertaining scrap. It's certainly going to be two guys trying their best. It's not going to be two guys trying to stink the place out. It's going to be two guys going at it. So, you know, pause. <laughs> no homo. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below about who Dylan White should fight next. Uh, do you like the Brazil fight? Maybe you like one of the other, other options. Jerrell Miller, Joshua Rematch, or Derek Chisora. What do you guys think? Uh, personally, I like the Dominic Brazil fight. Or the Wilder fight. Brazil or Wilder would be my choices for Dylan White's next opponents. Jarrell Miller, yeah. I like that fight too. That's a good fight. But I just feel like there's more potential for that fight to be messy and ugly. I think the Brazil White fight would be a bit of a cleaner fight. Because Brazil Brazil's a guy who applies pressure, but he's not really a mauler. If that makes sense. He doesn't really maul you as much as Miller does. Miller's more of a mauler than Brazil is. Brazil, I think, is heavier handed than Jarrell Miller. And lands cleaner, more powerful punches. Miller, I don't think, has the power of Brazil. He has a higher work rate and he just mauls you <laughs> like a big grizzly bear. So, stylistically, I prefer Brazil versus White rather than Miller versus White. And the Joshua and Chisora rematches, I mean, right now there's no desire for me or most people to see either one of those fights, at, you know, right now. But uh, Deontay Wilder, as I said before, I think Wilder knocks Dylan White out. Not, say, not to say Dylan White don't have any chance at all, but just looking at it stylistically, I would be heavily favouring Deontay Wilder to win that fight. Um, but... You know, good luck to Dylan if he does take it, if he does manage to get it. He's won a world heavyweight title shot for some time. He's been working his way up the rankings. He's been calling people out. He's been willing to accept tough fights and difficult challenges. So, you know, all respect and credit to him. I'm just looking at it objectively. I think Wilder would take him out. The other fights with Miller and Brazil, I think they're both competitive fights. Very competitive. That's kind of... Dylan White's level around the Jarrell Miller, Dominic Brazil. He's he's around their kind of level, if not slightly better. You know, I <clears throat> I actually think that Miller is an uglier fight for Dylan White <clears throat> and a more difficult fight than the Brazil fight. I think both fights are difficult for White. I don't think White beats either one of these guys easily if he beats them at all. But I think the Miller fight is more difficult for White than the Brazil fight. I think Miller is quite a skilled pressure fighter. Yeah, I know he mauls and he's not... He's kind of like a 300-pound Ricky Hatton. <laughs> Although he's not as good to the body as Ricky Hatton. But it's a similar method to what uh, Jarrell Miller does to Ricky Hatton. Like a 300-pound... He just jumps on you and mauls you. Like what R Ricky Hatton did to Costa Zoo. He just jumped on him and mauled him to death. And that's kind of how Jarrell Miller fights. So, yeah, I think, and we saw from the Derek Chisora fight that Dylan White can struggle when someone is really up on his chest. And Jarrell Miller being bigger and stronger than Chisora, he'd be up on White's chest even more so. He wouldn't give White any space to box. See, if you give White space, especially if you're a stationary guy like Lucas Brown, you can see what White can do to you if you give him space. And, you know, White can fight on the inside. But he prefers to fight on the outside. Yeah, that's what I will say. In the Chisora fight, White was fighting up close. He was throwing little short hooks and uppercuts and stuff like that. And they were landing with decent regularity. But he doesn't have as, anywhere near as much power on the inside as he does on the outside. Especially not when he's on the outside coming forward. You see? White is one of them kind of guys who struggles to hit with power when he's going backwards. Like most fighters, there are... Some fighters who punch extremely hard, even on the back foot. David Hay is a good example. This guy can be going backwards and he can still land a punch left or right hand, which can take you out. Okay, Dylan White is not blessed like that with that kind of punching power. 
Dylan White, in order to produce maximum punching power, he has to be going forward at you. He has to have forward momentum. Then he can get some decent power in his shots. But when he's being pushed back like he was against Chisora, it takes a lot of sting off his punches. You know, but against Lucas Brown, a guy who's a big guy, who's stationary, who's giving Dylan White space, and he's not moving around the ring because Hellenius is a big guy, but he was moving around. So he wasn't allowing White to set himself. You see, he was allowing White to come forward, but White couldn't set himself to get the power. Brown did everything that White needed him to do in order for White to be able to land, land with concussive force. He stood right in front of him, stationary, gave him space. I mean, he <laughs> Dilla White couldn't have asked for anything better as a target to demonstrate how hard he can actually hit, you know? So anyway, let me not waffle on here for too long. Let me know what you guys think about the fact that 70% of you have voted for Deontay Wilder as the guy you'd like to see Dylan White fight next. Give your rationale if you're one of those people. Why would you like to see White Wilder next? And if you voted for the other guys, same situation. Let me know your rationale. Why would you like to see him face whoever you voted for? And how do you see any or all of these fights going if they took place? Why against any of these five guys? Let me know in the comment section below. It's Hatman, I'm out.